When it comes to Apple, you can pretty much set your watch by the scheduling of their release dates. And this year is no different with two brand new offerings of the iPhone now on sale, with their main selling point being their increased screen sizes. But with their competitors' Android handsets offering this for upwards of two years now, have Apple missed their window to offer their trademark quality and originality? The simple answer is yes. While the iPhone 6 is a great smartphone and probably one of the best you can buy right now, it in no way offers anything more than what we're already used to from Apple, but only bigger. And when it comes to their Android competitors, as they've been offering this increased screen size and similar specs to the iPhone 6, Apple are only just catching up, leaving Android handsets the chance to far surpass the iPhone's power and quality over the next 12 months, before the inevitable iPhone 6s hits the shelves. But putting the competition aside, for hardcore iOS users, the iPhone 6 really does offer the best user experience yet. With a 4.7 inch screen, A8 brain, iOS 8, NFC and bigger battery, pretty much everything has improved. Obviously the increased screen size is the main change for both the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but it's not the only visual difference. It has an all metal black with curved edges front and back rather than the flat 90 degree edges on the 5S. The result is a phone that's super smooth in the hand, with joins between the glossy screen and the matte back is almost unnoticeable as you hold it. And like most iPhones preceding it, it's a beautifully built bit of kit. Phones like the LG G3 have to make do with plastic shells, whereas the iPhone 6 feels truly premium. And when it comes to the screen, 4.7 inches is not huge and is even dwarfed by many Android handsets. But for most people, 4.7 inches will be the ideal size, big enough to offer a better viewing and gaming experience. But sadly, the iPhone 6 doesn't match up to the screen of the LG G3, with its 534 pixels per inch, as the iPhone just has 326 pixels per inch. But in no way is this a bad screen. The 6 Plus has a full 1080p screen, and as does almost every one of the iPhone 6's main rivals. While the 6's display is easily one of the best 720p efforts we've used, but when you put it side by side with its competitors, you can really tell the loss in quality. And the second most important component behind the screen for most users is the camera. And again, it's seriously lacking in comparison to the likes of Sony and Samsung, rocking only an 8 megapixel lens. But this isn't a particularly bad thing, as the combination of a good lens, advanced image processing, and the multitude of iOS photo apps and sublimely simple camera controls make the iPhone 6 one of the best camera phones you can buy. But video recording has improved, with HD filming at 60 frames per second and enhanced slow-mo now double the frame rate at 240 per second. But sadly, there's no 4K video as found on some of its rivals. In the UK, some of the highlight features on the new iPhone can't be looked at yet, like Apple Pay, which uses the Touch ID and a newly added NFC chip in the phone to turn the handset into a contactless credit card. And if they live up to what we've seen in the demo videos, this could be a massive selling point for the iPhone. Overall, the iPhone 6 is another gorgeous Apple handset. It's great to hold and the extra screen size was desperately needed. And it has the best battery life of any iPhone ever, lasting well into a second day. And iOS 8 delivers some of Apple's biggest software innovations in years, although we'll have to wait for the likes of Apple Pay to make their way over here. Simply put, if you're already absorbed into Apple's ecosystem, you need to buy this phone. That is, if you haven't already. However, if you're a floating voter or a hardcore Android user, we can't help but feel that that side of the fence really offers a greater choice with better specs that will quickly surpass what the iPhone 6 can offer. Either way, the sales so far have proved that this phone is going to be Apple's most successful venture yet.